Hello everyone, welcome to another Python tutorial series, and in this video, I'm going to talk about rotations in your Snet Engine. So for those of you who have followed my your Snet Engine tutorial series, you might ask, didn't you talk about this already in one of your previous videos? Well, yes I did, but in this video, I'm going to talk about a different kind of rotation, and I hope you like it. So first, let's refresh our memories and see what we talked about in a previous video about rotations. So here, I'm going to create a rectangle. But before that, we import our your snow module. Now I can create my app. And I'll run my app. And now that I've created my app, I can create a rectangle. So I'll create my rectangle right here. So rectangle 1. And this is equal to a new entity. I'll set the model to a quad. I'll set the scale equal to 0.5 in the x, 2 on the y axis, I can set the color equal to red, and I'll set the texture equal to a brick-like texture. So if I save and run this, I have my rectangle entity right here. So now what I'm going to do is create another rectangle, but instead of doing all that again, I can just, so rectangle 2, I could just duplicate the first rectangle. So I'll right, duplicate a rectangle 1, which is the rectangle I want to duplicate. And now some other parameters I want to change. I'll change the color to cyan. I'll set the Z position equal to negative 0.1. So now I want to update, or add in an update function to rotate a, a rectangle 2. And so for our update function, I'm going to add it up here. Define update. And for rectangle 2, I'm going to rotate around the z-axis. And for the rotation, I'm going to increase it by 1 every single time the update function is called. So it will rotate 1 degree per frame clockwise around the z-axis. And if I say and run this, This is basically what we talked about in the previous video about rotation. And we could see that when we rotate a shape around the rotation command, it rotates around the center of the shape. What if we want a different kind of rotation? That is, instead of rotating around its center, we want the shape to rotate around one of its ends. Let's say the bottom end. Now, I showed in the picture here, uh, or basically I showed in the picture here, this is how we want to rotate it. Now to do this, we first need to understand that what decides the layout of the rectangle on the window. So the layout of any shape is determined by two factors, its position and its rotation. Once these two factors are decided, we will know the spatial layout of the, uh, of the shape. So to make a rotation around one end, we need to know how these two factors change with the rotation. If we look at the diagram, we will see that the trajectory of the rotating rectangle is a circle located at 0, negative 1 with a radius of 1 for the rectangle 1 and rectangle 2. And the rotation angle around the z-axis is from 0 to 360 degrees. Now with this information, we can develop the code to make the rotating rectangle around its one end. So let's delete, or we can go back into our code, and delete the line for the original rotation. And now I'm going to create global variable t. And the t is going to be the angle that a shape rotates from its original position. And t is going to increase by 1 for every single frame. So I can create t on the outside too. t is equal to 0. And now what I could do is increase t by 1 in the update function. Now for the position, we need to convert the angle uh, the degrees angle to radians and rotation um, we'll just keep using the angle so I'll create an angle variable and set it equal to t times map dot pi over 180 and that's how you convert degrees to radians I have rectangle 2 dot x set it equal to uh, 1 times math dot cosine of 90 times math dot pi over 180 minus the angle. 
And I'll do the same thing with the Y, so I'll copy and paste this. Except for the I'll change this for the Y. Math dot this should be math dot sign now instead of math dot cosine. And I want to subtract one from it. Now rectangle to rotation. So here I was changing the position, the x and y position. Now for the rotation, we're on the z-axis, I'll set it equal to t. And now if I save and run this, now our blue rectangle is rotating at one end. And so here, it just keeps rotating. And now instead of the center, it rotates at the bottom end. Now we can apply this method to make any shape rotate around any point we want as well, and not just a rectangle. So this is the end of this video. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.